Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. NCDC slams presidency for disregarding COVID-19 protocol in Abakari's burial. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, have checked the federal government for going against its social distancing rule and increasing COVID-19 cases. The NCDC comments, comment followed video showing the gathering at the barrier of the chief of staff of the president, Abba Karim in Abuja, hence exp exposing lots of people who attended the funeral at, to the deadly virus. Karim, a native of Burundi state, died on Friday of the coronavirus COVID-19. His remains were buried today. Igbal TV reports that despite the presidency saying Carrie's burial will be a private occasion, several personnel attended the intimation on Saturday at Gado Cemetery in Abuja and also disregarding the social distancing rule. NCDC via its official Twitter handle wrote, even at this time, as we more we more loved ones lost to COVID-19, including the recent deceased President Chief of Staff Malam Abakarim. We need to refrain from attending mass gathering to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. Igba TV reports that report that this is the second rule to be broken, as we recall that the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed earlier disclosed that the federal government will not release the cause of people who died after testing positive to coronavirus to relatives for burial. Coronavirus is very dangerous and contagious. There is no medications for it yet, and it is not just capable of killing overwhelming healthcare system. It will destroy the economy. In some countries, they are putting dead bodies in a big refrigerator because the mortuaries are filled up. Nigeria should not forget that these are not the type of corpse that can be claimed for mortuary for burial because the Minister of Health must handle it, he says. Igba TV for that record that popular Nollywood actress Funke Akindele and her husband JJC skills we are recently punished for going against social distancing rule funke and her husband jjc skill were on april 7th found guilty of violating the covid 19 lockdown ordered by the host ordered by the host of a birthday party at their home in lagos they are sent they were sentenced to 14 days community service and order to pay a fine of 100,000 naira each. NCDC is, you know, ready for Buhari and the presidency and um, for breaking two rules already. Uh, they are probably going to get a sue from the, um, they are going to sue the presidency regarding um, Karim's burial. First of all, the first rule is, even in overseas country, when people lost their loved ones to coronavirus, you don't bury them because this thing has no cure yet and um, there is no medication for it yet. You don't bury them. You don't do that because it's highly contagious and you don't want people to be infected. So it's something that the Minister of Health have to look into and to be sure every necessary precaution has to be taken. Secondly, during the barrier, there was no social distancing that was observed. So there are two incidences and two cases um, being alleged against the presidency that they flaunted during this um, Abba Karim's burial. So presidency might be getting sued, sued regarding the whole Abba Karim's um, burial and what have you. So the matter is on and um, I mean NCDC has slated that um, 
what they did was quite was very wrong and um they're going to get a statement from ncdc remember this is the same thing karim did before now he's dying when he left the country in march the 7th came back march the 14th he was told to quarantine then it was seven days and they let him increase quarantine to 14 days he was asked to quarantine guess what he replied him that he's the law who is asking who to quarantine and he refused he utterly called you know said no no such thing he did not quarantine and that's why you see he was able to spread it if he was in quarantine he would have just contained it within himself and those that have tested positive the likes of even the aerofi the governor of Kaduna state who has tested positive and made a statement very recently said he has still not you know he's still positive he's still not tested uh, tested negative yet he's still positive he said it online i said it's still very positive you know so likes of those people wouldn't have contracted the disease only god knows those that have spread it they spread it too because don't forget that uh we are only hearing that these people have it We've not heard about um, those that they've come in contact with or how the matter is going. You understand? So there is so many matter and many issues uh, going on with, with this. So we don't know exactly what the issue is yet. We don't know how many more people they've infected. Uh, you know, all these are ongoing. Yes. So um, NCDC is quite angry with them. It started from Abakarim flaunting the orders. He came back. He did not quarantine. He carried on. He went for uh, governor's forum. He did this. He did that. He was just all over the place doing one thing or the other. He refused to, you know, focus and to move forward. And guess what? Uh, and to do the, the due necessary. Now he's dead. Uh, again, they've not, the government has still not learned. Yes, they've still not learned their lesson. From Abakari, the, the the barrier you could see that there was no social distancing observed in any way at all people were all crowded in one place and they did not observe what they should observe to make sure that they uh, maintain social distancing you know so these are matter that ncdc have against the presidency and the presidency will be looked at the presidency they, they will get their 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 their, their, their sue They'll be sued and they will appear in court and also, you know, uh, you know, verify and uh, defend themselves as to why they did that. Garo Bashewa, I hope you are ready because you are the one who speaks for Buhari. Buhari doesn't speak himself. In all of this, we've not really heard from Buhari. It was still here to hear from Buhari. We also heard from Aisha Buhari, who spoke very, you know, very distant away from um, the whole matter. She doesn't seem to be um in line or in sync at all with um um the person of Aiba, Aba Karim. Aisha Buhari and Aba Karim are not best of friends. In fact they were you know they had issues all through his stay with her husband for the five years he served as her husband's chief of chief of staff. She complained bitterly time and time again that he which he was a uh, it was this influence on her husband's administration so these are some of the matter reaching us at the minute and at the hour that Abba Karim is gone uh, not only just gone and uh, there are other matters and issues and Nigerians uh, we're here keeping you up to date Abba Muna not forget to subscribe thumbs up for your girl like and share if you never like and share so that then uh, we can keep you up to date with all that is going on in nigeria and around the world you have a voice please use it don't forget to always keep safe and uh, social distancing now which they won't slam the presidency for be that the presidency right now go go, go talk wow and why they know they not do the right thing, you know, why they know, why they know, uh, uh, have social distancing. So the presidency will have to answer to that. Now the matter we day on be that. So Nigerians, thanks for listening. God bless you. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. You have a voice, please use it. God bless you. Thank you very much for listening to have a lovely and a wonderful day thank you very much apple line media we keep you up to date with all that is going on in nigeria and around the world we may
make sure that you are first to know everything going on. Um, we appreciate you for being there. Your presence gives us the courage to continue to work and to do more. Thank you very much, my people. And uh, what do you think? If you want to send your condolences, if you have a word to say regarding Abba Karim, regarding to a message to the family, please leave a comment. God bless you. Thumbs up for your girl. Bye. For